Max Lieberman was a German painter and printmaker, born in 1847. He was one of the leading proponents of Impressionism in Germany and continental Europe. Lieberman studied art in Weimar, Paris, and the Netherlands. After living in Munich for some time, he returned to Berlin in 1884, where he remained for the rest of his life. He chose scenes of the bourgeoisie and his garden near Lake Wannsee as motifs for his paintings. Known for his portraits, he completed over 200 commissioned works, including portraits of Albert Einstein and Paul von Hindenburg. In 1899, Liebermann led the premier avant-garde formation in Germany, the Berlin Secession, until 1911. He was later elected to the Prussian Academy of Arts and became its president in 1920. However, in 1933, he resigned from the Academy when it decided to no longer exhibit works by Jewish artists. His art collection, inherited by his wife, was looted by the Nazis after her death in 1943. Max Liebermann's early years Max Liebermann was born into a wealthy Jewish family. His father, Louis Liebermann, was a fabric manufacturer turned banker, and his mother was named Philippine. Max had five siblings, including his older brother George, who became an entrepreneur, and his younger brother Felix, who became a historian. In 1851, the family moved to Berenstrasse, and Max attended a nearby humanistic toddler school. However, he did not enjoy formal education and later transferred to the Dorothean Stadtisch Realschule. Artistic development and influences as Liebermann grew older, it became clear that his true passion lay in art. He studied at various art academies, including the Weimar Saxon Grand Ducal Art School and the Academy of Fine Arts in Berlin. During his studies, he was heavily influenced by the works of French Impressionists and Dutch Realists. These influences can be seen in Liebermann's use of light and color, as well as his attention to everyday scenes and ordinary people. Success and later years Liebermann's talent and unique style brought him great success throughout his career. He became a prominent figure in the Berlin art scene and was known for his landscapes, portraits, and genre paintings. Liebermann even served as the president of the Prussian Academy of Arts for over a decade. However, his life took a tragic turn with the rise of the Nazi regime. As a Jewish artist, he faced persecution and was eventually forbidden from exhibiting his work. Despite these challenges, Liebermann continued to paint in secret until his death in 1935. In conclusion, Max Liebermann was a pioneering German painter and printmaker who played a significant role in promoting Impressionism in Germany and continental Europe. His ability to capture everyday scenes and ordinary people, influenced by French Impressionists and Dutch Realists, showcased his unique style and artistic talent. Liebermann's success was evident in his extensive portfolio of landscapes, portraits, and genre paintings, including commissioned works for notable figures such as Albert Einstein and Paul von Hindenburg. Despite facing persecution as a Jewish artist during the rise of the Nazi regime, he persevered in creating art until his death in 1935, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the art world.